Well, hello everyone. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying welcome. Welcome to my video. This evening, I'm just going to show you we've done a little grocery haul here. It is Thursday night. The holiday has me messed up a little bit, but it's Thursday night, October the 14th, 2021. And it is feeling a little bit more like fall tonight. It's been a very warm week. Uh, almost too warm for working, but we worked anyway, so it's uh, not been a totally bad week. So uh, I just thought I would show you. I went to the grocery store tonight. Michelle puts the order in online, and uh, it saves me time. I don't mind going grocery shopping, but it, it, it helps her to know what we have. Uh, we sit down and try to come up with food ideas for like next week. Now mind you, she does 90% of that. But she asks me and sometimes I have some good ideas. I don't know how mothers plan meals every day if they're the ones that are doing it. Anybody in the family that's planning meals every day I don't necessarily know how they do it because it's a real struggle for me. We would end up eating a lot of the same things if that was left up to me. So Michelle really takes that under her purview and she looks after it and I'm really very happy. So she orders the groceries online. As I said, then she knows better what we have and she has control of it. And that's good. I mean, I get whatever I want. I just tell her, and she puts it on the list and orders it. So tonight, I went and picked up that order, and without any more rambling, I'll show you what we got. So one second, I flip this camera around, and I'll show you. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to start over here, and uh, I will ask that you forgive my pointing and wild gesticulating that I do. I'm just that way. So anyway, we were up against the paper towel. So she ordered a six pack of these sponge towels. We've used them before. They work good. It's just a, a, a bit smaller roll than uh, like if you buy the Big Bounty, but they're a good paper towel, so we got those. We also uh, bought a four pack of Kleenex. I like to keep some of that on hand. I always have a box on my desk. She has a box in the bedroom and we're getting to where we're close to being out so we like to have some on hand we got this box of if you say it backwards it will sound like what we grew up with rice krispies rice crispy obviously the generic brand the great value brand we've ate them they're just as good probably made by the same company post i think it is but uh i think she has an idea what there's some baking going to be happening with those once again, picked up two dozen eggs, extra large. What I like, I don't know why. I just like them better than a large egg. It's bigger, I guess. Um, we get this sweetener. I'm the only one that uses it, but I like it in my coffee. And any sweetener that you get used to, they have a flavor. And I'm used to those ones, and I like it, so I don't want to change. It's not broken, so we won't fix it. Maxwell House coffee, the dark roast. I like it the best, so that's what we get. I'm the only one that drinks that as well. We also picked up one each two pound bag of the sweet purple onion, I always call them, but they're a sweet onion and a yellow onion here. And uh, we have planned for some of them and some we're just gonna be using for our cooking and stuff, so stay tuned for that. We got uh, two, as I said, they used to be a one liter bottle, but now they're 900 mils, right? Yeah, that works. A chicken broth for soups and stuff. Very good stuff. Got a piece of cheese here, 400 grams. Not a pound anymore either, but this is the stuff I like here. Monterey Jack with jalapenos. It's good. It's not as hot as what one might think, but a little, uh, just a five pound bag of flour. I always think this is neat when I watch other people's videos. Just the different names in the different regions of flour. For us, it's Robin Hood. 
we grew up using that. It's probably, I'm pretty sure it's a very Canadian brand, but and of course I can't think of other names that I see on videos from people from the U.S. and the southern U.S. and whatnot, but just the other day I noticed, last night actually Michelle was watching a video and I watched a few minutes of it and the woman had a flower. I can't remember, I just think that's kind of neat. Yep, that's right, that's just me. And uh, she picked up a couple of these little containers here. They are smaller than she thought. And there's one here that's eight cups. Still smaller than she thought, but they will come in handy for something. They have a nice airtight seal there, so it'll be good for freezing things and whatnot. So that's this side. I believe I've showed you everything. I'm going to uh, try to turn the camera here without tearing your, making you seasick or anything, I should say. Uh, she got another little jug of Tide here. We still have uh, some left, but I guess she just thought it was a good, good idea to get some more. This we are almost out of. Fabric softener, so she got the big jug this time, which is a good deal. New loofah sponge, believe it or not, that's for me. And I bought these razors. These are not what I was going to get. These are disposable razors. I typically don't use them, but I pretty much use this kind. I'm hoping they were very cheap, like 25% of what I was expecting to pay. So hopefully they work good. Don't tear my face off. I don't like having my face tore off. Antiperspirant here. Toothpaste. Rapid relief for sensitive teeth and uh, my shampoo here. So, that's that. Got uh, two pounds of lean ground beef, two of them, and then two packages of this boneless, skinless chicken. We use a lot of that, and uh, I think she has some ideas for that as well. Two cans of diced tomatoes. I think we've got one pan left, but when we use it, we tend to use quite a bit of it. Two green peppers here. Uh, pretty good looking peppers. I mean, not the best, but pretty good. Off, I, I've seen when we do the grocery order, sometimes you don't get the best produce. So really, I'm quite pleased with those to, to get them and them look that good. Then there's uh, two of these bunches I guess of green onions we have a plan for them you'll see them in another video coming up very soon a jar of sliced peaches now I like them they're a nice treat Michelle will not eat them so once again that was her being thoughtful and nice because she don't eat them so they're not for her they're for the other person that lives in the house I guess Always about every, we use quite a bit of ketchup. So about once a month we have to buy a bottle of ketchup. We get these smaller ones and then I will take, and I have an even smaller one in the fridge that I fill up, just easier for Michelle to handle. And uh, this one stays, well, this one stays in the fridge and the other one I'll take to the bedroom when she needs it. She use it, I put it back in the fridge two little cans of tomato paste here. You can buy it in bigger cans, and we do have a bigger can back there, but this is typically what we use, like, in one recipe. If it calls for tomato paste, we'll use this much. So, it's a good way to buy it. We got uh, two cans of flaked light tuna. Skip jack and water. That's good stuff. We all like it here. We have two cans of tomato juice. My lighting is poor. I have a bulb above my head that's burnt out. I replaced it once and it burnt. The other one burnt out, so it's a little dark. So we have two cans of that there. This is uh, flakes of chicken and two cans of flakes of ham. We use them for sandwiches and occasionally somebody spoiled beagle will get a can of it. Not saying whose, but. And there's uh, a bag of almonds and a bag of chopped walnuts. I'm going to use them this weekend. 
I doubt it'll be a standalone video, but I'm going to show you what I'm using them for. A package of quick rise yeast here. We still have some, but like two of these or one, but I thought I should get another one. Pop tarts. Now, I'll tell you when I eat these mostly in my pocket when I go out and take one or two of them. Great snack. So don't judge me. <laughs> Half liter of molasses. This is, if you're from the east coast of Canada, this stuff right here is made by Crosby's Molasses in St. John. And I know this because I go there and pick it up. Great value molasses is Crosby's Molasses out of St. John. If you want to save money, get this. You get the same thing. Dark chocolate chips. They're going to go with those. And I will, as I said, show you that. A bag of icing sugar. Now we have a little bit here, but we're getting awful close to the Christmas baking season, believe it or not. So we got some more and brown sugar. Another package of that. Baking season, what can I say? Now I'll show you this one. We got down here. These are the dog's treats. They're supposed to be good for their teeth. Uh, he needs his teeth brushed. I'm not brave enough to do that myself, but that's going to have to be done. Uh, little container, you've seen these before, of uh, flavorings, Kool-Aid flavoring, to go in bottles of water that we got there, two dozen of them. And also, Michelle's ginger ale, and down below it is my Coke Zero. And also, the last thing, I believe, is this. jug of distilled water because one of us I'm not going to say who snores and wears a CPAP machine and I'll just leave it up to you to guess but anyway it's time to get another jug of that so anyway and I must confess I see a piece of cereal on the floor I apologize I did sweet but I missed it or dropped it since that was this morning, so anyway, that is this portion of the grocery haul. So I'll see you back in what to you will just be a few seconds and we'll show you the rest. Okay, hello everyone. Um, as you can tell, it's the next day, different shirt, same hat but different shirt. Uh, it's Friday evening now and this is phase two of a grocery haul video. Uh, we got this order from a different store. So I just want to take a moment to uh, show you what we got. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna start over here on this end, I guess. We're getting pretty low on oatmeal. So we picked up this bag. I'm going to make a recipe this weekend and I'm gonna need quick oats. Now, might not get into this one. I probably won't. But we we're getting low enough that we thought we should have another bag. Also, raisins, same thing. And these Thompson raise, raisins are about my favorite, and I think Michelle's favorite as well. We have another kind, and I forget what they are, but they're good, but prefer these ones. Also, a box of bran cereal. It's not raisin bran, but. It's good stuff. Uh, I needed a, another can of this, Comet, and a thing of Vim. I still have some of this, but I'm completely out of this, and I need it so I can clean the shower. Michelle needed some floss. And everywhere was out of the three pack, which is what we usually get, so the last time and this time we had to get a single. Now this stuff right here, supremely spicy hummus. Now that is my favorite, and that is hot. That pepper in the middle, I love it. I'm gonna eat some of this tonight. 
I'm not sure how much I'm gonna eat, but I'm gonna eat some of it, for sure. A box of shreddies. What are they? Honey shreddies. And the President's Choice brand Frosted Flakes. We've got lots of cereal now, but this stuff keeps, you don't open it. So, I'm gonna put it in on the shelf and we will have it to use. Now this is Earth's own almond milk. This is made with canola oil. It doesn't have any sunflower or, or anything like that. So Michelle's hoping that it will not bother her. We got uh, this one. It's a brownie mix. Layered peanut butter brownie bars. Probably pretty stellar. So we'll have them if I need to make a snack for Michelle. We also got these. This is beef stock and a chicken stock. Once again, no soy. That's the important thing here for us. Got a can of Campbell's Chunky Chili. This is the home style. And this one is steak. Both of them are good. Quick meal in a pinch. Got a pizza kit here. We always like to have one of them on hand. And we made one last weekend, so obviously we used up the kit we had. This is freeze-dried chives. They, I don't think they add a lot of flavor to anything, but they're nice. They're mild, but they're nice. Uh, a little box of soup noodles here. You can see them. They're just a straight noodle. Just another variety to have on hand. And some panko crumbs. I used the last ones we had, the last meatloaf we made, and we are planning to make a meatloaf this weekend for one of our meal options for the week. And a bottle of raspberry jam. It's the President's Choice kind. And a bottle of strawberry that is also the President's Choice kind. We have not had this kind before, but I'm sure it's pretty good. I think it's a little bit less sugar too. And then peanut butter, Jif. We uh, are completely out of that, so I had to have a bottle. And this is cookie butter. Now I'm not even sure what that is, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. And then a can of pineapple slices right here. And I'll show you in just a second. That's four, you'll see right here. Uh, two cans actually of pizza sauce. And two cans of peaches and cream corn. And tucked in behind that is a ham. This is gonna be the main meal option. So I'll probably, obviously I think it's fully cooked. Yep, right there it says it's fully cooked. But we put it in the oven and you know, a couple, three hours, most people do, we score it. Uh, it'll be pretty good. I'll, give, I'll probably show you that in one of the videos I do on Sunday. But just, it's a big piece of meat. But look what the price is getting to be. Stuff, stuff is gonna be really expensive this winter. So this is a good size one here. We'll be able to make meals for the week. We'll have a meal Sunday probably with that and there'll be enough left over to make some ham soup. So, all of that is very good. And just give me one second here. We also, almost forgot to take them out. Just a bag of peas, completely out of them. And these, there you go. Non-dairy, sea salt caramel, like a ice cream bar. Excuse me. Anyway, no milk, no soy. And uh, Michelle tolerates them quite well, and they are delicious. So that is phase two of the grocery haul. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. Please know that we appreciate you, and we're glad you're watching. So stay tuned. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying there's more videos to be made this weekend. Excuse me. I'm fighting back a cough for no reason. Uh, more videos to be made this weekend, so I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.